Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into a minute. Let's go. Y'all know in my Instagram stories, I have been looking for Belle Calise, right? I found her and I think we about to get a freestyle on Friday. I've already gone to Spotify. As you can see, it's pre-saved. I'm ready. I can't wait. Let's keep going. So this is from the Morning Juice Box TV. Breaking news, Big Meech is coming home, y'all. He is set to be home in 2025. I'm so happy. His son has really been holding it down. This is going to be fantastic. Y'all excited for this? I'm, I'm happy for him. Y'all, this post is from Tyrone Blackburn, child. And he's over there on Instagram. I put this actually in my story. You can go listen to it. And Puffy's explaining to people how he can show them how to have fun and stay out of jail. And then Tyrone put on here, I bet he can. Sean Hollywood leads Sean Combs, Justin Combs, and soon King Combs to the same fate as Tory Lanez and Danny Masterson. And you know, both of them are in prison in California. I don't even know what to say about Puffy. Y'all, I got this from All Things Bravo Reality. The worst husbands of Bravo. I, I would have to agree with the overall five. But if I had to pick one that was the absolute number one worst, I think it would be Ralph. I'm going to let y'all figure it out in the comments because I want to see what y'all think. And I'm going to say out of these five, the one that is the most self-assured is Juan. Juan Dixon. Juan is who he is and he does not make any bones about it. You know, this thing right here is something else. But I'm going to have to go with Ralph. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I would love to know what you think about this. I'm really excited about this. I'll be on Confessions of a Reality Queen next Wednesday. And uh, it's her first endeavor. I'm her first guest. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but she says 21 questions with confessions. So I'm here for it. And I hope you join. I'll let y'all know more about it. Let's keep going. Shout out to Binge Worthy. I got this from his page, right? Child Simon is a mess, right? He has unfollowed Portia. And not only has he unfollowed Portia, he has cleaned up his Instagram. Hold on. Y'all, look at this. Like, the fact that he would go th down through here and do this is the pettiness for me. Like, sir, and you know Portia was on this one right here with that orange thing around his neck. I wonder if Portia know about this. Child. Y'all know how excited I am about this Michael Jackson biopic, right? Well, baby, they got some new cast members. Let's get into it. So we have Jaden Harville and Jamal R. Henderson. He, These two are going to be playing Jermaine Jackson. I, I can see it a little bit. I'm sure they're going to make it work. Now we have Jalen Lyndon Hunter and Trey Horton that's going to be playing Marlon Jackson. What do you think about him? I'm so excited. <laughs> so we have Judah Edwards and Ryan Hill, and they're going to be playing Tito Jackson. I can really see it on this one right here. I can see it on the other one, too. Now, this is a good one. Next up is Jackie Jackson. I love Jackie Lowkey, right? I really liked him. Nathaniel McIntyre and Joseph David Jones are playing Jackie Jackson. I think they can make it work. I mean, this one over here is a little light skin. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, but we're going to see how that's going to work out. I really need them to message me and let me come to set, honey, because I am so excited about this. Y'all, message Antoine Fuqua and let him know that Millie Chun is very excited about this and very over the moon that he's doing it. Right? Y'all, we're going to get this April the 18th, 2025, like in a year. Do you have fast a year goes? I'm ready. Now, just for a little quick review, we have Jafar Jackson. This is Jermaine's son, and he's playing Michael Jackson. And he looks phenomenal. And then we got Giuliano Crew Valdi as a young Michael. I can see it. I can see it. And we have Coleman Domingo as Joe Jackson. Can't, can't you see this? This is some good casting. Y'all, when I, when I saw Neil Long, I was in for it. But when I saw her as made up as Catherine, chef's kiss. 
I know we've seen a thousand Michael Jackson movies. I know we have. But I think this one is going to be a more in-depth, right? I've never heard of John Branca. Never. We may have seen a likeness of him, but he's definitely in it because he was one of the first cast that was picked. And it says down here, there's Michael Jackson's biological family, and then there's John Branca, the unyielding attorney who was at Jackson's side for more than three decades. Branca was instrumental in helping to usher Jackson from a fresh-faced boy bander to a solo artist dubbed the King of Pop. I can't wait! I cannot wait. And lastly... We have two sisters, like biological sisters, that's going to bring Shirley Chisholm home on March 22nd on Netflix, right? Regina King and her sister Rena both star in Shirley. Regina plays Shirley Chisholm and her sister portrays Mural St. Hill. This is going to be amazing. Like, this gets me excited for television. I hope you're excited about this because I really cannot wait to see it and talk about it. It's your girl Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.